And oh, now this is a bloody mess. Seven planets in retrograde. So let's go through them and see what um, which ones are in retrograde. And then literally, instead of lament lamenting what is not working, we will look at the ones that aren't in retrogradation to see what we can do um, while the odds are stacked up against us, if that makes sense. Sorry, Mol. It's just my cat. So let's go through them. So we have Mercury in retrograde. Luckily, Mercury will not be, ret retro will not be retrograde uh, for all that long. Um, I will post from when to when these planets are retrograde. You will see them here on the screen. Anyway, so at this point in time, what is difficult is any sort of proper communication because that's what Mercury really is for. And then we have Venus, the planet of love. So feeling loved, um, misunderstanding when people are nice with people coming on to you, all that kind of shit is happening right now. You can't really trust anything or you won't be able to uh, trust anything because Venus is in retrograde. Luckily, Venus is not in retrograde for much longer and then understanding when people you know give you compliments you know to distinguish between whether or not they give you compliments or they actually have an agenda whatever that means all these things at this point in time you wouldn't necessarily trust anything so venus in retrograde is never a good thing when it comes to am i being loved do they love me for me or do they love me because they objectify me all that kind of stuff so venus is energetically speaking difficult for a lot of people um, to figure out where they are with, with regards to when people make them uh, give them compliments or how they even you know feel about themselves so self-worth uh, can be affected quite a bit when when venus is in retrograde and then we have saturn now saturn is one of three spiritual teachers and saturn is all about karma our karmic lessons that we are normally here to look at. We will do fake all with them. <laughs> and then the issue is that Saturn also teaches through restrictions. So learning when not to argue, especially when Mercury is retrograde, which means we're not communicating right. Uh, so learning when to step back is also out the window for as long as Saturn is in retrograde. And then we have Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is the happy-go-lucky planet. Um, scientists believe that Jupiter is the first planet that, ever, that has ever formed. Um, and therefore, the idea is that you've seen it all. You can go into trust and, and know, you know, I've been through all this before. Now, the problem is with Jupiter being retrograde, you will not believe and trust that, that, that you get through the stuff that is actually coming your way. So it's not going to get any easier. And then we have Pluto. Uh, in retrograde. Pluto is the, the planet with the most erratic orbit. And so Pluto, um, any other planet, spends a specific amount of time in each of the zodiacs or each of the signs. Pluto is different because Pluto can spend between 18 and 30 years in a sign. So the point is that Pluto is that planet that sort of brings out the rebel in you, that sort of allows you to stay away from stuff um, and speak your truth in retrograde you might not know what your truth actually is so everything is a bit more difficult at this point in time and then we have neptune in retrograde neptune is the governing planet of pisces neptune is also known as poseidon the god of the sea and neptune is here to bring spirituality to proceedings and what that really means is for you to understand that maybe when things feel difficult, you should embrace and look at your spiritual core. And with Neptune being retrograde, you might not even be able to figure out what that core is and where it sits and all that kind of stuff. And then ultimately, we have Uranus in retrograde as well. Uranus is the planet of, of sudden and unexpected change. So therefore, embracing change is also quite difficult. Easiest way would be to just, you know, hibernate until they're all back to normal, <clears throat> but life goes on whether or not the planets are in retrograde. Now, 
like I said earlier, rather than lamenting what isn't working, let's look at what we're left with, and it's not a lot. What we're being left with is the energy of the moon, the energy of the sun, and the energy of Mars. Now, the sun and Mercury are both fiery energies, right? Um, so the point here is, the sun and the moon do not necessarily, and never have, shared space very well. So what will happen is, while these two are not, um, obviously they're not going into retrograde, if that makes sense, even though at times they really do, but we're not counting them as such, because to be fair, we don't even count them as planets. We call them luminaries, and just planets for convenience. But without the sun and the moon, nothing really works <laughs> for, for any of us. Point is... What we like to see in a birth chart, for instance, is for them to be far apart. And so, since these are the, the two massive ones that are currently carrying all the other planets that are not really working, we have to understand that we might find ourselves at opposite ends of the spectrum. So, agree to disagree, right? You might not find a common denominator at this point in time as a lot of people agree to disagree, walking away rather than arguing, really has its merits while all these planets are in retrograde. And here is another thing that is also important because, you know, obviously Mars is not retrograde. Um, <coughs> and Mars, and this is a, a good thing, Mars really is aware at all times of your energy levels. So while all that stuff is going on, a lot of stress is coming our way, we don't quite know how to read the signs, we overreact a lot, we, 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 we seem to fall into um, assuming, presuming a lot, all that kind of stuff that normally doesn't help and never really does help. But Mars is saying, you know, just watch your energy levels, right? What does that do to you when they're all in, in, in retrogradation, right? Learning when not to exert yourself is really, really important. So Mars is the savior, if that makes sense, at this point in time. Um, and Mars is interesting because from the Earth's point of view, Mars is one of the very few planets that is easily observable. And what that means is that you easily can connect to yourself and really connect to how am I feeling about all this? And reflection without then understanding, well, I can't really communicate well, right? I, I get pissed off quite easily, all that kind of stuff. Understanding what, how you tick at this point in time is what mass is for. And that is not in any case um, a problem at this point in time. So bottom line is, we're getting through this, we always will, and we always have, but pay attention to how do you feel, who and what is triggering you, and understand that whatever it is that triggers you might actually not be the way you would normally look at it. So you might actually come to a lot of wrong conclusions at this point in time. Hence, stay the heck away from everything, right? Just watch your energy levels. Therefore, it's a bit, it's quite simple in a way. So what you're being asked is like, while, while Mars is the one that works and the sun uh, um, gives you the energy that you need, the, the moon is saying, you know, your emotional core at this point in time is a bit more in your face because Mars and the moon are both fiery energies, right? So... Therefore, they can affect your emotions even more. Hence, look at your emotional sense in your emotional core and understand that your energy levels at all times, since they are so affected by whatever is going on around you, is the way to measure how you're feeling in the wake of these uh, planets going in and out of retrograde or some of them coming out of retrograde. So it gets better <coughs> mid-September uh, because Mercury is out and it gets uh, gets better early September because Venus is back direct, if that makes sense. Bottom line is overreacting is quite common. Misunderstanding is quite common. Quite, quite, quite common. Um, 
reading things wrong is quite common, uh, then not being able to explain it. It's all a shit show with seven planets in retrogradation. And yet the, 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 the energy that is known as the... Well, Mars is actually known as a more... Um, or used to be known as a more negative planet. It used to be seen as the... It is seen as the warrior, but it also is seen or was seen at least at some stage as the planet of war and the planet of aggression. Well, life is what you make it. If you understand that you overreact based on the fact that nothing really works around you and you can't make sense of anything, that's on you. And while Mars is that energy that, that says like, yeah, you know, speak your truth at all times, blah, 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 blah. Your job is to understand what I have going for me while any other planet is against me, for want of a better word, is that my energy levels are highlighted to me. So keep calm, right? Maybe if your energy levels are a bit heightened, you know, maybe the way to go is to go for long walks. Maybe, you know, you want to start running again. You want to go to the gym, you know, do something physical, if that makes sense. Um while the planets do their thing, right? So there isn't much to actually advise here because when the majority of the planets aren't working, <clears throat> all we can do is try to get through it. And with Mars being the one that says, I'm okay, <laughs> I still work, um, is understanding that Mars's energy is then the one to focus on. It's not wise when, when the planets are all out of sync, if that makes sense, to focus too much on the sun or the moon, right? Apart from the fact that, that we're all affected by new moons and full moons, um, because they are by default always strong, always in your face, always very, you know, forceful. And being forceful is what Mars likes. Therefore, not being forceful, but understanding I'm going to look after myself and using this excess energy that I'm having now that Mars is sort of the only one uh, that can sort of uh, reign freely. Um, use that to your advantage. I hope that helped, guys. Um, see you very soon. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye-bye.